I'm Yusuf Dali. Uh, I am an autolithician. We do autolithical work. We go with trade under Dolly's auto development. We do diagnostic on cars, wiring, management, anything basically wiring on a car, electronics. So yeah, this is my Toyota RXI. It's basically it's a standard car, it's just got a bronze downpipe and exhaust. Small stuff done to the car but it gives me what I want. It's fun. I enjoy it. I use it mostly on weekends. My family likes it. So it's for me it all around it's a good car. I had everything else, I had the Lanex, but I think the tuning valve was more fun. Screams loud, performs decent for 1600 and it gives me it's everything that I want. It's got everything in. So it's perfect car for the school. So so yeah. Yeah guys so like you said, he does all in auto electrical work and Diagnos uh, diagnostics. Diagnostics, yeah. yeah. You can basically just diagnostics. Diagnostics, anything appears as well on it. You can do the diagnostic on any cars. You can bring, like most guys that doesn't have the Toyota for like the 160 eyes, like Mr. Yeah. Red. Uh, they don't have the diagnostic equipment to diagnose that car. So you can bring it to me and I can. Yeah. That's one thing it that, that actually stood out by him, like. My car had a problem and not a lot of people can diagnose this cause but he can actually do that so it picks up everything literally the speedo cable wasn't working and picked exactly, that yeah. so everything will pick up yeah so yeah please please do my contact with him yeah. so guys <laughs> you already know by looking at the thumbnail you can actually see that i'm reviewing a 4g 20 valve oryx i so yeah, this thing is very nice, it's a neat car and the owner's given me the privilege <laughs> The owner's given me the privilege to drive it so I'm really on it It's a childhood dream, really I'm gonna talk a lot in the video also, hopefully How I feel about the car and stuff But yeah, even since I was a, like a small, small child I always wanted to drive a 20 valve. My daddy had one actually, but I never got the chance to drive it. It was the old spec or the XI. So, yeah, I've driven a few, but yeah, this is just something different. It feels special, yeah, seeing that it's on the channel. And yeah. So, please, before we carry on with this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Some people like confuse themselves seeing on the tablet cover 20 cam 20 valve thinking it's a 2 litre, but it's actually a 1.6 1600 
yeah, and it's pushing out some decent power for that, that era, man. So, this car comes with the 4AG 2012 blacktop motor origi originally. So, I think around 121 kilowatts they push out from factory. And then you get the silver top 4AG E, yeah. which is out around 115 kilowatts. So. Yeah, so enough about the motor. I think that's enough. I'm not going to go in depth. It's not the in depth review, it's more about my feel of the car. So, right now we're actually stuck in traffic. And the way this car feels, I won't lie, um, it feels easy to drive. It's a comfortable car, the seating position is nice. Um, this car has everything, it's full house. There's um, the luxury of electric windows, electric mirrors, um, ABS braking, and this uh, sunroof as well. It's an aftermarket sunroof that I want to put in. But yeah, there's a bit of history about the car. Um, I used to drive past this car a lot um, as a small child as well, and my father. Uh, owner stays close to me, yeah, so I see this car a lot and like I always told myself, yo, one day I wish I could drive this car, but now that day is, <laughs> that day is today, so I'm very, very honest for that, yeah. Um, and then that, uh, the car has been owned by the owner for six years already, he's had a few 20 rolls before, and he actually told me actually I had a C32, I think, or a C55, but he just, he can't feel the same feeling that the 2012 gives you. He even had a Runex RSI, which he sold, and yeah, he's back to 2012 now. But yeah, speaking from experience now driving, that this car is very comfortable. Actually, has a set of PC coilovers in, so the car is low, it stands out, but it's done right. <laughs> yeah, so it's driving very comfortable, soft, there's no knocks on the suspension, nothing like that.
going to take you through the car. Uh, short walk around. So, uh, seeing that the owner is not going to do it, so I'll just do something short. So, as you can come close over here, as you can see, this is the 4 AGE 20 volt motor. Um, from what I know, is the motor is stock. It just has a set of um, ITBs that's open. The car does come with um, original ITBs. So, the black top comes with the 45 mil throttles, and as the silver top comes with the 43 mil throttles. Um, I'm not sure what length this trumpets are, but um, they give a nice sound. Usually, the guy can sound 50 mil, 70 mil, 100 mil, I think. Yeah. So, um, other than that, as you can see, it has this induction pipe running over here. So, I'm not sure if it ran a close plenum before, but usually that's what the guys do. And as you can come over here, you can see it actually runs to the bottom. You can come, yeah, it actually runs to the bottom over there. And other than that, there's an oil catch can. And um, yeah, the bay is pretty neat. And one thing, just to show, oh, it has pieces, as you can see over there. Um, yeah, so that drives very amazing. Pieces is not cheap, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's like, around 20k new but you get like cheaper ones as well I'm not sure but yeah okay so as you can see the car is still pretty OEM so what I mean by OEM is it's kept its original form with just a bit of um, touches to make it stand out man so the car is lowered you can see over here it's pretty low the coil over is it's about I would say a finger or half a finger gap and as you picked out, or if you're watching from, I know this video will probably go in Philippines as well and all other places. But if you're watching from there, this is actually the blade drum. This drum is very common in Cape Town. And yeah, between this drum and then you get the twin spoke as well. These ones originally come out with a blade drum. So yeah. Um, other than that, the car has a set of um, smoke OEM crystal lights. So, Usually the car comes out with a chrome, the whole thing comes out chrome, but same like my one, it's actually sprayed black inside, it just gives a more aggressive look. And then this is very um, unique on this car actually, I've never seen a new spec with this type of spots. You guys usually put it in by the bumper, and this is quite unique. I like that touch, it's a nice touch to the car. Okay. This is a tip guys, so, so what I usually do when I close the bonnet, I never push on the bonnet because it's it's dense here, so maybe you close the bonnet, just drop like that. So, like any other Corona, the back is basically the same, but what sets it apart obviously is the RXI badge over here. And then, one thing I didn't actually know the um, 160i has actually come out with a red brake light in the front, whereas this one comes with a semi clear brake light. So, that's something to look out for. So, you want to know if it's an RXI without a badge, maybe. Um, yeah, and then. We also have this tail piece over here that's just to bring out it back a bit, not make it look like the 1300. <laughs> but yeah, moving along with some cosmetic changes. This fits quite nice on this car, so this is a wind guard, I think, or wind deflector. It just gives a more aesthetic. So this is the bearing I was talking of, so um, the RX eyes come with this flat bearing, whereas the, the old spec comes with the fat beating so this is also one of the ways you can notice it you do I ever get like one ATI I think it's the limited edition that comes with this beating as well and then you get the old spec also with this beating in the RXI shape also color coded so you yeah. might be wondering who's recording this video so um, I'm actually assisted here with my friend um, PSI Media so he has an Instagram page so you can check him out so it's at PSI Media he takes also automotive photography Takes quite nice photos and then there's also videos as well. Um, yeah, so please do follow him on Instagram and on Facebook.
so it's just like a test run seeing um, and see how the feedback goes and stuff and, and then we know obviously as time goes along I'll improve yeah but um, like I said yeah I'm sorry if I didn't put certain things in if I didn't mention certain specs I'm also sorry if I said the wrong things about the figures and stuff like I said from my understanding yeah and I didn't quote exact figures so it's just a disclaimer so that is the end of this video so yeah I'm just sitting in the car this time, actually outside. Um, so let me know what you think on this review. It was way different from the rest. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I'm also learning new things as I'm going along and I'm taking you guys with me. Okay, so please let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I would really appreciate it. It's my first time doing this type of review. And again, a thanks to Owen for actually bringing the car to me and like, letting me do it. I really enjoyed my time, I'm not gonna lie, with the throttles. It's just something different. Trattles is just something that always makes a person smile. You have to drive it to feel it and experience it. So yeah. So going forward, please do like, comment and subscribe on this video. Thank you.